Hello, Angela. Hello, Father. I've noticed you're here every Friday. Yes, Father. Paul died on a Friday, and I've been coming here every Friday since. I see. If you ever need to talk to anybody about anything, I'm always here. Thank you, Father. It took a long time for me to uh, accept everything, but I think I'm okay. I'm glad to hear that. Father? Is it a sin to question God? Jesus himself questioned God. I've questioned him myself on many occasions. In a world that's so sinister and downright evil at times, how can one not question God? I've known some people over the years, people from this town, who've made me question whether there truly is a God. And my conclusion is, there must be, there has to be, or our life on earth here is meaningless. We're all sinners, but think if God had not blessed us with the ability to feel guilt. It's guilt and redemption that better and ultimately save the worst of sinners. It's part of our faith to doubt. And in troublesome times, it's necessary to search and search for him. We all find him at some point. Do you not believe, Angela? I do. It's just really hard sometimes. Like when my father got in that horrible accident and remained paralyzed, and then when Paul died a few years later. I know. Hey. Hey. You've had some terrible things happen in your life. And none of it makes any sense. But Good Friday is a day of reflection. Think about, think about Jesus trying to understand why God would want his only son to die and willingly accepting his own death in order to save all of Christianity. See, God has a plan for all of us. Okay, and we have no idea what that plan is. We don't know why he would want us to suffer, why he would want us to, to go through so much pain. But ultimately, when you come face to face with the Lord, all your questions will be answered and you'll finally be free. Thank you, Father. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Hey, anytime. Hey, Angie, tonight before you go to bed, say an Our Father for me. And when you do, just try to think about all the good things that you have in your life. I will, Father. this late. You don't do anything constructive with your time. I ask you to do one thing, and you can't even do that. I was gonna cut the grass after I woke up. Oh. <laughs> when are you gonna cut it? Tonight? Don't you feel disgusted with yourself? All right. So I'm busting my balls. I'll cut it now. It's not even about that. I can pay some Mexican to do it. At least he'll do a good job. <sighs> then what the fuck do you want from me? To do something, goddammit! Look at you. You're a joke. You're a 22-year-old college dropout living with his parents. You don't even have a pot to piss in. You say college isn't for you? Fine. Get a job. Earn a living. 
You know what I used to do when I was your age? Well, here we go again with this bullshit. Everything is bullshit to you. You're becoming like everyone else in this town. Trash. A dirty, filthy nothing. Look at your friend Tommy. Dad, you don't even know him. What's there to know? He's trash. He's a parasite. He, he feeds off of other people's weaknesses. Dad, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I defend kids like him. He's a parasite. Dad, just shut up. You want me to shut up? That's what I expect from you. A real man accepts the reality around him. He doesn't try to avoid it. A real man deals with problems and doesn't prance around him like some fucking ballerina. You want to talk about being a real man? What the fuck have you ever done for me? All right, so you give me a place to live, and you feed me, and you bought me a car. That shit that you have to do. That shit that comes with being a father. Tommy, yeah, he took a bullet for me. When I got jumped, he went to every one of those cocksuckers' houses, and he beat the fucking piss out of them. And he got shot in the process. Thank God he got shot in the leg and not between the fucking eyes. You know what? You want to talk about being a real man? The DEA and FBI offered Tommy two years instead of 12 if he ratted some guys out and he didn't fucking do it. He was stupid for not cooperating. He was stupid for being a real man? Okay, Dad. You may make all this money and everyone at your office may kiss your ass. But you try walking these streets once in a while. I'm doing some selfish shit. And you can talk to me about being a real man. What's wrong, Jack? I told you when we got married that we should live in the city. But, no! You had to stay in this shithole town where you grew up. Oh, not again. I don't know if you're stupid or if you just deny these things so you don't have to deal with them. Look at our son. He's 22 years old and he does nothing. Well, not everyone does what you did at that age. I've come to terms with that a long time ago, but this kid is turning into trash. Why the fuck do we have to buy this place? I hated coming here even to pick you up when we were dating. We have a junkie kid because you didn't want to leave this place. You think they don't have drugs in the city? Do you think 20-year-olds are different elsewhere? He is a normal kid. Sometimes they take a while to get it. Maybe you shouldn't have spoiled him. Hey, come on. This isn't ours or the town's fault. Nothing is wrong with John. It's just how kids are now. He's not a kid. That's the problem. I'm just afraid that he's going to wake up when he's 30 years old and have nothing to show for it. My father's probably rolling over in his grave when he sees when I let him become. Jack, you just have to let the kid be. Once they're out of their teens, there's nothing left you can do to shape them. It's, it's out of your control. I know. That's what scares me. Here, I had a rough day. Mm, me too. All I wanted was to come home and lay with you all day.
Oh, what the fuck? Is it too hot? You don't have to bathe me. You just have to help me in and out of the damn thing. Fine. Let's get you out then. I'm working a double tonight, so I'm not gonna be home till late. Angie starts her new job tonight and she won't be home either. Do you want me to call your sister and have her come over to take care of you? Are you sure? Because I don't want to hear about it later. I can take care of myself. What do you mean you're going out? Where'd this come from all of a sudden? What, do one of your little whores call you out? I'm just going out with some friends. Friends? You don't have any friends. I don't understand what the big deal is. Well, who are you going out with? <sighs> just some old friends, Nick. Who? I've been with you for seven years. I think I would know who all of your old friends are. Alex and Tommy and John. Of course. <sighs> What's wrong? <sighs> Baby. Off me. Come on, what's wrong? <sighs> you see, this is why I don't tell you anything, because you get mad over the stupidest shit. Stupid shit? Forget it. Forget it. I'm not gonna go. You're going out with your scumbag friends, and you want me to sit at home and be happy about it? You know, fine. Don't worry about it. Just go have a good time. No, oh, no. Forget it. I won't go. I'll just, uh... Sit home and watch some, I don't know, what do you watch, soap operas? You're such a fucking baby. Now when was the last time I'm out with my friends, huh? See, you don't even know. You don't even know because it's been that long. Now come on, listen. It's Alex's birthday. Tommy's going away next week. It's gonna be the last time we're all gonna be together. Now you have to understand that. I promise, it's just gonna be for a few hours, at the most. So you always say you can't control yourself and you always give in to those guys. Who do I give in to? Babe, you're the only person I had to give in to all the time. Well, come on. I don't want to fight. Come on. Would it be nice? I love you. Okay, fine. You want to go out? You better be home by one. Okay. And if you don't answer your phone, I swear to God, I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Fucking bitch. What's up, man? What the fuck, Don? I've been calling you all morning. Yeah, I woke up late, man. <laughs> I got your message. And you didn't call me. That's nice. Where is she gonna go? You're in here at the same time every day. Tracy gets mad when I don't come here. 
Right, Tracy? <laughs> Have some beef. No, man. It's Good Friday. You're not supposed to eat meat. That's right. That guy died today. <laughs> hey, Trace. Yes, Tommy. Can I get uh, another beef with hot and a pepper and egg for John the Baptist over here? You're going to hell. You think not eating meat's going to save me? <laughs> I just told you in the fifth grade I was going to hell. Hey, don't forget about tonight, man. What's tonight, Johnny? I don't remember. We're going out with the boys. Ah, oh, that's doing, right. Tommy? You guys call? Hey. Crazy Mike. Crazy. What's up? How you doing, John? What up, Mike? What's going on? Not much. That's uh, yeah? work. Yeah. How's the wife? The kids? Everything is good. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine? It's not too boring. Good Okay, yeah. you want something to eat? Uh, not really. You sure? All right, then I get the fuck say. out of here. Okay. Sit down. Tracy, get him something to eat. I'm me. I love you, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Man, why you always gotta buy that piece of shit lunch? He's a nice guy, Johnny. He's a fucking crackhead. Nah, shut up. He's a good guy. What if that was you? Put yourself in his shoes. Do unto others as others would do unto you. If that was me, I'd give you permission to kick my ass. Yeah? I'll take your word. Hello. Yeah. You're outside. Where? Oh, OK. All right, I'll send Johnny out right now. Bye. Hey, listen, John. Let me feel it. Run this outside to our friend. Why don't you do it? You know what I mean? <laughs> My God. Tommy said you can pay him later. I'll get out of here before anyone sees you. Let's go, Summer, we're gonna be late. I'm almost ready, hold on. <laughs> I told you to wear a low cut shirt. I don't have your chest, Summer. What am I supposed to show off? Well, I told you to get one of the push-up bras I wear. I mean, look, look what it does to me. Gives me a whole other cup size. People think I got them done. Are you kidding me? If I walked out of my house with my chest busting out, my father would kill me. Okay, well, I'm just trying to help you make some more money. My tips went up 20% when I started showing off my tits. 20%? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you ready? Yeah. Alex, come here. Alex, what are you doing? Alex! Can't you see I'm busy? Are you kidding me? You just finished with me, now you want to play with your guitar? Sweetie, what do you want me to do? You want to cuddle? <laughs> well, yeah, that would be appropriate. Sweetheart, I don't cuddle. You don't cuddle. Okay, so I guess you don't cuddle. 
You could at least talk to me. Yeah. Just as soon as I'm done here. I can't believe you. You know, you're fucking ridiculous. I know. Happy birthday, you prick. Thank you. I'll call you later. Sir, it's a poor girl's first day. First day and last day. Tell you what, oh. drinks are on the house. On the house, they're right. my new fucking shirt. Summer, look what the new bra did to my shirt. Well, it doesn't look so bad to me. You know what? Why don't you say thank you to her? She'd do a fucking favor. It's like a $20 flea market shirt. I bought this in Mazatlan. And what? It's in Mexico, the place I vacation all the time. Oh, yeah? Okay, okay. Well, you know what? You're in America now, so you can just relax and we'll get you around. It'll be fine. Okay? Yeah. Well, you know what? Watch your mouth. It's Good Friday. Good Friday. I'll show you some fucking meat to eat, you fucking bitch. Bring some of that calamari, too. Change of fucking grease. Nasty shit. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, ain't that some shit? Fuck you. Hey, more broth for me. <laughs> Fuck. Round it up, amigo. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. Don't be so nervous. It's fine. These things happen on your first day. Do you want to meet you on your first day? Absolutely not, no. But I've seen this happen before, okay? So just relax. Did you see the boss? He looked like he was gonna choke me. Oh, don't, just don't worry about him. He's a baby, okay? Just try to play it cool this time, okay? Okay, okay, cool. Gotcha. Oh, you're such a doll. Okay, why don't you just go over there and see if you can, like, get that table one drink. Okay. Okay? One at a time. <laughs> What the black guy get on his SATs? What? <laughs> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that one before. Oh, <laughs> hey, Jenny, how about another bottle? I just brought you this, you fucking alcoholic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, whatever. Get the fuck out of here. Just fucking work. Hey, Jenny, you dropped a couple yellow rocks in your room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking amazing, this girl. God, oh, what the fuck. Guys? You doing it? Hey, look. Best line from a movie. You got it. Best line in a movie ever, Scarface. Okay, you wanna play rough? Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Goodfellas. We're Pesci in the bar. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. which line again? I'm though? funny? Funny how? Like, I'm a fucking clown? I'm here to fucking amuse you? Classic. Classic. <laughs> but, Godfather 2. Which one? Yeah, where? I know who's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it easy. No, 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 I got it, I got it. The Bronx Tale. Now nah, you just can't leave. <laughs> that was close. Uh, I'm gonna make it those guys. We've all known each other now for what, about 10, 15 years? We haven't always liked each other. Remember when uh, Alex fucked your cousin and you wouldn't talk to him? <laughs> She's yeah. beautiful, man. Yeah, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> How about when Jimmy wouldn't spot me two bills and I didn't talk to him for about a month? Come on, man, I was fucking broke. <laughs> Nicky was on the brag. <laughs> How about when Johnny, when you called Nicky a filthy twat? Oh, I wanted to you. fucking kick your ass. Just call me a fag, dude. Right, it's over. Forget about it. Who cares? Yeah. We've all been through so much together. Time goes by pretty fucking fast. Seems like yesterday we were all ditching school going to get blowjobs on Mannheim. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Jimmy. What the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, whatever. Fuck you. Come on. Uh, been through a lot, guys. And you know what? If it wasn't for this town, we wouldn't know each other. I never thought I would say it, but I'm actually grateful for this piece of shit place. <laughs> Don't ever think I'm ever gonna forget you guys coming down to the courthouse when I got pinched, either. We're brothers, man. 
Look at that. It's, it's like, look at the feast, for example. You know, just little shit like this bothers the fuck out of me. Because I remember when the feast was was just us, you know, neighborhood people, people whose grandparents immigrated here and started the whole fucking thing. Now you got, you got spigs, you got niggers running around, fighting, shooting each other. It's a fucking shame. Like the feast, we've changed. We're still here. That's right. I love you guys, no matter where I'm at. Love you too, man. I love you. I love all you guys. Oh. One more? One more. Come on. One more. Hey, Jenny! Is everything okay? Honey, what's the matter? Faith, talk to me, what's wrong? I don't understand him. Sometimes I really think that I hate him. I mean, I've put up through so much shit through the years. You know, the boozing, the gambling, the girls. I just took it all with a smile. And then he had the accident. Who takes care of him? Not his sisters, his cousins, his fucking gangster friends. Me. I take care of him. The dummy takes care of him. He doesn't talk to me anymore. He barely talks to anybody. He's mean and bitter and nasty with all the people that care about him. I do everything for him. Things you wouldn't even imagine to. I bathe him, I dress him. I even change his diapers. And on top of that, I'm providing for the family. I think he could be a little appreciative, you know, say, Hello, maybe good night. Listen, your husband has always had his own ways. He was never really good at showing affection earlier in his life. Can you imagine now? He was always so self-dependent and confident and secure. Now he's restrained to a wheelchair and he can't even take care of his most basic needs. That can really sadden a person. Can you imagine how much that's hardened him? You know I would never stick up for Michael. But you have to try and understand him. I never liked the guy, but I never questioned that he loved you. I know he loves me. But after years of sacrificing, I had to ask myself, would he even do half of what I've done for him? Hey, come on, enough. You asked me to meet you out. Now let's just stop talking and, and have a good time. Jimmy, what's the matter? Come on, man, what's your problem? Wife wants him home. <laughs> no, no, I'm just thinking about some things I gotta do at work. That's all. Yeah? Wife. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Come on. Let's fucking celebrate. It's his birthday. Let's go. All right, Jack, come on. Pour some shots. It's Alex is starting to make a toast. No, man. I don't like making toasts. Yeah. Come on. He's pretty fucking bad at it. Well, yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm bad at it too. It's your birthday, so by law, you gotta make a toast. What law is that, man? Hey! Hi. Summer! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, I haven't seen you in forever! Where the fuck have you been? Oh, you guys remember Ranch? Yeah, sure. How you doing, sweetie? What's up? Gee, I didn't know you worked here. What I asked for you? Why, who did you get? Jenny. The crackhead. Oh, be nice. I'm fucking trying, Summer. I asked for another bottle 20 minutes ago. Okay, okay. I'll go see what's going on, okay? Thanks. Hey, all right, Alex, it's your turn for the toast, okay? Come on. 
Okay. Come on. I love you guys. Okay. So, gotta take a piss. Hey, Angie. How are you? Good. Alex, how are you? Good. It's been a long time since we saw each other. Yeah, it's been like two years, right? Two years? I think it's been longer than that. No, it, it's two years ever, ever since Paul's wake. Uh, so how have you been since Paul passed? What am I gonna do, you know? Yeah. How's your father doing? It's good, I guess. So thanks for asking. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hattie. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Salud. How have you been? So good. You look amazing. You look great, too. Hey, you guys should both come to Tommy's later. Bring Jenny, too, because I know Tommy would love to have her there. We'll be there. Uh, I should get back to work. Yeah, see ya, Angie. Come on, give me, give me back my phone. How you doing, Come here, Summer. So, Jean tells me you're having a party. The fuck are you talking about? Uh, nice. When were you planning on telling me? Take it easy, freak. I don't know nothing about this. Hey, Alex told her you're having people over. You hear that, Johnny? <laughs> dirty dicks invited people to my house. <laughs> Classic dirty. <laughs> yeah, but with Summer and the girls there, it might not be a bad time, eh? Old times, Tommy. Old times, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what, Summer? Yes? All right, let's do it, but make sure you bring Angie, too. Okay. I gotta take this call, I'm sorry. Oh. Can you believe this midlife crisis he's going through? I mean, some men, they buy Corvettes. Some men, they dye their hair. My husband, he wants to screw like rabbits. I mean, he goes out and buys all these dirty movies and outfits, and he makes me do all these crazy things. Sometimes, I wake up in the morning, and I can't walk right. Faith, can you believe this? It's crazy. Come on, Faith, you weren't even listening. I'm just exhausted. I, I think I just need to get some rest. I think you need to get laid. Sue, I don't even want it anymore. How long have we known each other? We've told each other everything since we were little girls, and you're still uncomfortable talking with me about these things? He hasn't been able to get it up since the accident. And even if he could, I'm so tired after work and then cleaning the house all day, not to mention taking care of him. Oh, my. It's OK, really. It's no, it's no big deal. No, I feel so terrible. How come you never told me? I don't know. It's not something you go around telling people. What do you think, I go around telling people? I, I just don't feel comfortable discussing it. It's, it's not a big deal. How long has it been? Well, since the accident. Four years. Oh my God, you poor thing. No. Faith, I know you really don't like talking about these things, but maybe you should get a toy or something. I don't know, get Michael involved, have him help you out. That's why you're going nuts. You have four years of sexual tension built up in you. I start going nuts after four days without it. I'm gonna stop now, but think about it. Oh, God, here I am going on about our sex swing. I'm so sorry, Faith. Oh, it's okay. I like your crazy stories. Sex swing. Last time I was on a swing was in the first grade. You guys coming or what? It's getting late. I don't know if Angie's into it. She doesn't party. You should just come by. Take a break from all your hard work and study. Why don't you jump in my lap and give me a heart on? Now you don't know if you want to come? Listen, do me a favor. Just drop by. Come on, for an hour? Alex's birthday. 
fucking leaving in a couple days. It's like my unofficial going away party. It's really not my scene, Alex. No? You're not gonna come? Uh, 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 what? Come on. What? My boy's really into Anne. Well, good. He could be into her all fucking once. She doesn't party. It's not my scene either. It'll be nice. We can just sit and talk. You never partied before we used to hang out either. Come on, it'll be like old times, just like you said. I'm not saying yes, but I'm not saying no. Fucking bring her over okay. right at the same time. Okay. Okay. Take notes. John. Yeah, what? Do me a favor. Take a ride by Radoslav's house before uh, you come over. You want me to go to Radoslav's? Yeah. Come on, man. Why can't you go? The guy freaks the shit out of me. Why? He likes you. Yeah. He likes me a little too much. <laughs> Last time I went over there, he started licking my fucking face. What do you want to do, John? You want to have a couple beers and play cards? I might, I might eat, man. I got nothing. I got everything over there. <laughs> Look, man, all I'm saying is why can't you go? I don't like the fucking guy. I got to go fix up the house before everyone gets there. Relax. Just fucking go. Hello, how are you? Like, I'm here for Tommy's shit. <clears throat> all right, well, let me bring Alex. Go fucking way, man. If him and Alex get together, you'll never get back to my house. Just uh, take Jimmy with you. It's a big fucking deal, John. Come on. All right, man. Yeah, keep on stalling. It's getting late. What do you think I'm doing? How come you didn't answer all those times I called? I'm sorry. My phone was on vibrate. I'm sorry. But we just got done eating dinner. We're going to have a few drinks. And I won't be home late, OK? Why? You just had dinner. Have a drink and get your ass home. Relax. Nikki, you gotta relax. You're such a firecracker. I'm gonna get a few drinks with the fellas, and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna be home early, okay? Fellas? What, are you already drunk? Why don't you go to bed? You sound a little tired. You were asking for my bed. And where the hell are you? We were at Misi Coe's. But hey, we're probably gonna go to Shaboom's. But don't worry, I won't be home late. Are there any girls with you? No, there's no girls. Come on, there's no girls. Oh, isn't that cute? I love you, baby. Yeah, I gotta Jimmy, go. Yeah, I gotta go. Jim. Bye. Jimmy, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, chillin', man. Fuck it's all right. It's all right. Okay, where are we gonna go? We gotta make a quick stop before we go to Tommy's house. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I'm so glad you called me. We should do this more often. Hey, Faith. Are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, I'll be just fine. Tommy, I think he, I think he sold drugs to Paul. Angie. <laughs> Tommy sold drugs to everybody in this town since high school, and how many of them actually overdosed? Mm -hmm. mm. Just Paul. I mean, we've been through this a million times. I'm sorry, but like, Paul had a problem, and you cannot blame anyone but him. I know. I. I just don't like being around all that stuff. Hey, does my ass look big in these pants? Oh, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. How long were you planning on keeping them on? Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Seriously. You gotta come. What else are you gonna do on a Friday night? Come on, live a little. Just come. You don't have to do anything. What's 
should have brought my fucking should have brought my laundry. Go away, I'm fucking a busy! You motherfucking a cock is sucking a son of a bitch! Why the what the hell did you bring me, dude? John, I'm sorry. I, I miss you. That's my buddy Jimmy. It's your boyfriend. No, this is Jimmy. Jim, nice jacket okay. there. You guys are coming. Yeah. Jim and John. <laughs> Jim and John. What the fuck? Nice. Hey okay, guys, sit, please sit. John, what the fuck is a dummy? He's at the house fixing up for the girls, man. Girls? Dummy at party. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's go, I drive! Uh, Let's nah, go! Nah, man, uh, I talked to Tommy and he said I can't bring you because there's already four girls and four guys there, so... It wouldn't work out. So? Man, what the fuck is that smell? Yeah, man. Oh my god, it smells like shit in here, dude. Oh, <laughs> I forget to wipe up my ass! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kidding me, dude. Fucking kidding me, dude, I want to fucking hear it, all right? I don't want to fucking dude, hear it. This is not my dude, fucking fault. No, oh, man. I, oh my Tommy God. always makes me fucking do this shit, man. Well, yeah, use your own fucking brain sometime. Oh, yeah, my well, God. sometimes Tommy's hard to say fucking no to man. I mean, this place is fucking... All right, all right. Jim! Jim! <laughs> Jim! Don't you hate when that happens when you forget to wipe your ass? Come on, dude. You don't even fucking wipe your ass, and now you probably didn't wipe your fucking hands. Listen, man, um, I don't want to sound like a dick or anything, but Tommy's waiting for us, so we kind of got to grab that shit and go meet him. Fuck Tommy! You thought that guy could suck it to wait! Fucking treats me like a fucking nigger! I hold this fucking drug, I can't go to the party, fuck you, we watch the porno. You want me to call him up and tell him that? What, we watch the porno? Oh, you fucking idiot. Are you talking shit? Go ahead, call. Use my fucking phone. No, stop. Stop! I'm kidding, I'm just kidding! Stop! Stop! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Stop! Please. I kid, I just a play. Yeah, you remember what happened last time? What? We just a play last time. What happened last time? And nothing! Don't listen to his bullshit! Bullshit, a one for me, Ratty. Would have tore your fucking lungs out, dude. It's how Tommy and I show we love each other. We're like brother. Oh, man. Whatever, man. All right, can we just grab the shit? Because you smell like ass. Fan, I know you like the smell of my ass. Fucking away. Fuck out of here right now. Come right, on. Dude. Fuck this shit. Let's just go. Do you think I want to hang out with him? Helping there, man. Fuck you! Here. What is, what is this shit? It's uh, Tammy's cocaine and uh, ketamine. Uh, you know, uh, special K. It's the tranquilizer they give to the donkey. Doesn't that shit usually come in like powder form? Uh, yeah, but you got to cook on uh, stove, oven, uh, microwave. Uh, but, don't start it like a cocaine. You go into a cake uh, hole, and people can stick a uh, penis in your ear. Yeah, right, right, we got okay. it. Okay. All right, man, let's get out. So you go, where are you going? I'll see you, bro. Later, That's bro. it? Go, get, I stay on my fucking load. Fuck you. No, wait, no, wait, John. No, wait, John, 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 come here. 
John, please come here. Jim, I need to talk to John. John, two well, minutes. This is very important. Oh, yeah. no, listen, this is very important. You need to know. And then I need to make your face. Get the fuck out of here, man! Jeez. I love you, John! You're a fucking weirdo, John, man. John, Jim, you're so cute! How big is your penis? Yeah, Faith, please. She called in. May I ask who's calling? She called in? That's what I said, sir. She called in. May I ask who's calling? What the fuck are they doing? Playing cards? So, what is it you're doing now? I'm a musician. Really? What made you decide to do that? Uh, I've been playing guitar and piano since I was like four. Really? Yeah. Taught myself how to play. Wow. What do your parents have to say about that? My father is very encouraging. My mother disapproves. Why? Mm. My, um, my papu, that's her father, you know, he believed in hard work. I mean, if you didn't work 60 hours a week, you weren't a real man. <laughs> and all her brothers, you know, went to work at a very early age, and I suppose she just wanted the same for me. But, you know, I'm not like that. I have to be creative. I need to express myself. I mean, I can have the worst day imaginable. And I know that when I get home, I can just grab my guitar and just washes away all the bullshit. You know, everything's fine. That's great, Alex. But I can understand your mother disapproving. I mean, think about it. How many musicians come out of these parts? Fuck that! A mother should support their kid in whatever they want to do. Do you know what a kick in the nuts it is to have your mother say, put down the fucking toys and go get a job? But you have to understand, she just wants to see you succeed. Granted, you're an artist and that's what you love to do. You should consider a backup plan. Because you don't... You never know what life is going to throw at you. I can't come to terms with living a secure life. I mean, not now, anyway. We're young. 
I feel really old sometimes. That's because you're scared of living. What's wrong? I just don't like this whole scene. Why? We're doing our thing, they're doing theirs. That's not the point. Why do you hang out with these people? These people? They're my friends. I tried hanging out with different people, but I grew up with these guys. We're like brothers. Brothers ain't always the same, and I mean, they never see eye to eye, but they stick together. Wow, Alex, I didn't know you were so deep. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me, sweetheart. Why are you doing this to me, you son of a bitch? I can't believe you're not answering your phone, you heartless prick. I'm gonna rip your fucking balls off. I hope she's worth it. I hope she's a fucking disease and your dick falls off. Call me back. So how much shit do you put in your hair? <laughs> Not that much. Just, you know, gel and hairspray. Looks like a lot. So you party a lot, huh? You've never done this before? Yeah. It's been a while. So what's your story? Story? Yeah, you know, what do you do? I cut hair. Oh, that's cool. Did you go to school for that? Yeah. That's cool. So are you with anybody seriously? Not anybody seriously. Let me ask you a question. What? When have you ever been with someone seriously? I mean, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. 
You fucked everybody in the neighborhood since 8th grade. I've never fucked you. Let me ask you something. What are you thinking about right now? Hey. Hey, you remember me, right? Sure, yeah. I was in here a couple weeks ago with my boyfriend, Jimmy. Okay. You need something? No, I'm okay. By any chance, was Jimmy in here tonight? No, nah, I don't think so. Was he supposed to be? Yeah, that's what he told me. Well, it was a pretty busy night, so if he was here, I didn't see him. You know what? Don't play games with me. It's not a big deal, okay? Listen, I don't need to get involved in any of this. Can you keep me out of it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna hurt this kid. What? Listen, I, I, I don't normally do this. I mean, I'm figuring, I just got off of work, boyfriend ditched you, and he's not answering the phone. Do you wanna get some coffee? Are you hitting on me? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Hey, uh, asshole, don't you see that I'm in the middle of a crisis here? The guy's not answering. Well, who asked for your opinion? You know what? If you want coffee, just go get it yourself. Better yet, why don't you go drink a gallon of bleach instead? I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Real classy move. Hitting on a girl when she's fighting with her boyfriend. I'll remember that the next time we gotta tip ya. Pick up the phone, asshole. I got people trying to rape me. I'm just trying to stay away from heroin. You're trying to stay from where you think I give a fuck? Take the, take the fucking shit and get the fuck out of here before I fucking hurt you. Hey, Angie. Angie. Who, me? Yeah, you. Come here. He doesn't bite. Sit down. I'm gonna hurt you, sit down. No thanks, I'm okay. Whatever. <laughs> you having a good time, Ange? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I guess. Why don't you go grab a beer or something? Loosen up. No thanks, Tommy. You got something you want to say to me, Ange? Paul? Oh God, please help me. No, I don't. Alex, can you, can you give me a ride home? Yeah, sure, sweetheart. Let's go. Hold on, hold on a second.
hold on, hold on. What? Oh, I never knew you were like this. Oh, uh, you have no, no idea. Can I do a bump off your tit? What? Come on. Why? Because I've always wanted to. You've always wanted to do a line off my tit? Well, not yours, just anybody's. Okay. Last call, honey, what can I get for you? I'm all right, thanks. Was there a group of guys in here earlier? Yeah, there were a bunch of guys. Do you know who Jimmy Mateo is? No, I can't say I do. What about Tommy Esposito? Tommy? <laughs> no, him and that kid Johnny can't come in here anymore. They started a riot and almost killed someone in here. Figures, those animals. All right, thanks. What the fuck are you looking at? Whatever. <laughs> Jesus. I don't. <laughs> John. How come you never try to sleep with me? What? What are you serious? Yeah. We used to hang out a lot and you never try to fuck me once. I'm sure I did at one point. <laughs> no, I think I'd remember. You don't find me attractive? Come on. You know your heart. Yeah? So what is it then? <laughs> it's not. Come on, tell me. You're the only guy in this town who's never tried to sleep with me once. I'd like to know why. Jesus, I don't remember you being such a fucking ball buster. Oh my god! Don't change the subject. Come on. Alright. I don't go with girls that Tommy's already had. <laughs> what? I, you know, it's fucking... Oh God, Tommy! Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, oh, John never sleep. tried to sleep. Oh hi, John never tried to sleep with me because he thought you and I were fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? <laughs> like my sister, you sicko. <laughs> uh. uh. You should have tried when you had the chance. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing? I... <clears throat> Listen, and I'm not just saying this, but you are very beautiful. Stop it. No, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, you are a really beautiful person. Thanks, I guess. I haven't had a girlfriend in a long time. And I know you haven't had a boyfriend. I think we both have something in common. And what's that? We're both searching for the right person. How do you know someone is the right person? You don't. There's no right person. There's only the one you choose to be with. You're right. You're absolutely right. Hey. Come here. Alex. Angie. Alex, I don't even know you. What have we been talking about for the past couple hours? Don't be scared. Don't think. No. 
Oh, take it easy. That shit ain't coke. <sighs> this stuff isn't that good, Tommy. Well, yeah, because you don't look too fucking good, Jenny. You act like I haven't done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at him done that. Jesus Christ, please. You're trying to answer this. Answer. Hey, retard, look at me. Jenny. Hey. Jenny, look at me. <laughs> I'm looking at you, and Jesus. Jenny, <laughs> look at me. Listen to me. Can you hear me? Yeah, one second. Look at me. You go in a fucking K-hole. I swear to fucking God, I'm gonna drag you by your fucking hair outside, and that's where you're gonna sleep all night. Tommy. With Daddy? It's for you. You kidding me? Friend from earlier. Important. Hello. Yeah. What do you mean you're outside? Are you out of your fucking mind? I saw you. I don't know. Stuart doesn't need to come, Tommy, but I, I need to ask you a favor. What? I, just, I need another eight ball, Tommy. Hey, you haven't paid me in like two weeks. Why the fuck? Why should I give you more? I, ha I had to pay my bill these last couple weeks. You know I'm gonna pay you. That's the thing, Faith. I don't know anymore. It's like, I, I'm not trying to make money off you, but I can't afford to lose. You know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is, but you don't have a fucking clue! What'd you say? I said you don't have a fucking clue! Hey, do me a favor, get the fuck out of here. You're nothing but a little boy, Tommy! You don't know how it is! You don't know what I'm going through! So do me a favor, kid. Just get me enough to get me through the night. Come here. Come here! You fucking cunt! Alex. Alex. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Neither am I. Where's your bathroom? Right across the hall. I'll be right back.
challenge. I would love to see you use like anti-gravity forces for Jesus Christ. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Jenny, what the fuck? Tell me what you do bumps. What the fuck are you doing lines? Jenny, come on. Jenny! Fuck, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Now you're in a gay hole. Awesome, now I get to fucking deal with it? Summer, where the fuck is he? What? Ah, uh, hi, hi. What the but, fuck did you get in here? Oh my god, what the fuck's wrong with her? Nothing, she's fine. Has repulsed me. Where is Jimmy? I don't fucking know, Nikki. You know what? You're a fucking little bitch. I'm gonna fucking find him myself. Fuck you! Who the hell's in here? Open up, you piece of shit, or I'll break it down. Hey, Nikki, what's up? Who the hell's in here? Just me. God! What up? Ew. Where's my boyfriend? I don't know. I'm always with Alex. Why don't you go look at his place, you fucking psycho? Bullshit! What the fuck's upstairs? Huh? I don't fucking know. No. Fuck you guys. Hey, go chill that bitch out before Tommy fucking sees it. Summer, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Same what it looks like, Summer. I'm fucking leaving. Oh! What the fuck? Angie. Angie. Angie, what happened? Talk, Angie. What the hell's going on? <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Daddy, I'm so stupid. You're stupid. Why don't you get off the floor and tell me what's wrong? Nothing. Would you please just leave me alone? Did someone hurt you? What the fuck is going on? Would you please just leave me alone? Who the hell do you think you're screaming at? <laughs> you come into my house in the middle of the night, I ask you what's wrong, and you tell me to leave you alone? I think it's pretty pathetic that it takes your daughter coming home crying in the middle of the night for you to actually give a shit. Huh. You get in a fight with your friends, you think I'm gonna let you take it out of me? I'm sorry, Daddy. It's just... What? What is it? <laughs> I'm a whore, Daddy. What did you just say? I said... I know what you fucking said. What do you mean? You even know what a whore is? I slept with a guy I barely even knew. Okay. Wait, did this guy hurt you? 
What? No. Is this the first time, Ange? No. What do you do, Ange? You sleeping around? No. Just Paul. Now this guy. Where the fuck's your mother when you need her? <laughs> All right. Come on, it's not bad. <laughs> Come on, stop crying. Do you know how hard it is to sit in this fucking thing and watch you cry? I'm sorry, Daddy. You're a good girl, Angie. You gotta stop crying. Angie, sometimes we do things and we don't know why. I mean, we're human. We're not some kind of fucking robots. I know how you feel. I've felt like that a million times. Just get some rest, baby. Get some sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. I know what you're thinking, and I know what this looks like. I don't know what to tell you, Summer. You're not a little girl no more. God, I remember taking you and little Angie to Girl Scouts. Look at the two of you now. Did you go to the station's procession today? Neither did I. Remember when I used to take you and Angie every Good Friday? I haven't been to church in over five years. Well, I think maybe you should consider going again. How long have you been cheating on your husband? Excuse me? This was the first time. <laughs> it was. I swear on my daughter's life. I just don't understand why someone like you would ever do something like this. I mean, you have a great husband, a beautiful daughter, and a gorgeous home. You don't know the half of it, Summer. I don't need to know anything. There's no excuse for someone your age acting like you've got nothing to lose. Drinking all night? Snorting coke? Sleeping with a guy half your age? I mean, what kind of person does that? I've always had the highest respect for you. I think this is why this hurts so much. Did you know your daughter was in that house earlier? What if it was her instead of me that walked in on you? You don't know the life that I've had. What kind of excuse is that? This is about right and wrong, about good and bad. Nobody has it easy. It's just some, it's just some stupid fucking justification. I love your daughter. And I realize what will happen to Tommy if work gets out, so I won't say nothing to nobody.
But I don't know if I can ever look you in the face again. Everyone will know by tomorrow anyway. This town lives for stuff like this. Sorry. What the fuck is going on? What's going on, man? Get in the car. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, man, get your drunk ass in the car. I said, leave me the fuck alone. Does it look like I want to be bothered? Hey, man, look at me. What's going on? Just leave me the fuck alone. Listen to me, man. If you're going to be loud, someone's going to call the cops. Get the fuck in the car, man. Come on, get in the fucking car, man. Man, what is going on here? This is me. That's the problem, man. What? It's you! Or Tommy! Or John! Or some other fucking kid from around here! You know what? I hate you. I hate all of you. Whoa. Why don't you stop talking all crazy and reason with me, man? You're the most reasonable one out of all of us. Reasonable? What the fuck good is it to be reasonable? I should be more like you guys. I don't want to be this torn up. Seriously, man. What the fuck is going on here? How was your night, Alex? What? I said, how was your night? Good. Up until now, you crazy fuck. <laughs> That's what I imagined. You know, part of me wants to be just like you. I want to go out. I want to have a good time. And I want to hit on broads. And I want to take them back to my house and I want to fuck the shit out of them. And just move on with my life. Yeah, but... No! You want to know what's wrong? I'm going to tell you. Okay. A part of me despises you. Hey, take advantage of all these girls. These insecure, naive girls. You don't give a fuck about them. You fuck them and that's it. And they gotta, they gotta live with your, your filth for the rest of their lives. What's that supposed to mean? What is this? I'm saying all you motherfuckers care about is yourself. John and Tommy, and especially you. You know how many girls' reputations you've ruined throughout the years? I've heard your stories. You scumbag. Oh, and then you're known for playing your guitar right after you bust a nut. It's all about you. Meanwhile, I fuck a girl tonight. Who? It doesn't fucking matter who. I fuck a girl, and I'm disgusted and angry with myself. Why? Because I'm fucking Mr. Reasonable. You know what, man? It fucking breaks my heart to hear a lifelong friend talking to me like this. Oh, you don't like being degraded? You know, it's okay. Because you're partially right. But this is us. And you know what else, man? You are what you are. And don't think you're any better than the rest of us because of it. Fucking balls on you! What? You know, it's one thing to feel sad or guilty, but it's another thing to blame your friends who care about you. I mean, listen, you're talking like I fucking took your dick out of your pants and stuck it in the bitch. Alex. 
I don't want to do it. What? I don't want to fucking get married. What? I don't want to fucking do it! That's what... That's what this is about? You mother fucker! What are you beating yourself up about? I fucked this girl tonight to prove to myself that I'm not ready to get married. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I'm all fucked up, man. Listen to me, man. I ain't bullshitting. I wish I had a girl like Nikki. Now, like I'm fucking 23 years old. You know, you think it's so thrilling to sleep with all these women? Look at me, man. I'm the loneliest fucking guy on the planet. I fuck girls just to feel better about myself. That's it. Yeah, man, Nikki's, Nikki's a little crazy. But she loves you. And she loves you in a way that I have never seen a girl love someone. You're willing to risk that? I'm telling you, a good, faithful, beautiful girl like Nikki is hard to come by these days. Yeah. I know. I know. I fucking love you, man. I love you too, man. I should get you home before Nikki comes after us. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kick the shit out of both of us. Yeah, fuck. So whatever happened with Angie? Uh, let's just say I got a taste of my own medicine. You can't paw cracky McGee. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Tommy, thanks for everything. No, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Is she gonna be okay? Jenny. Anything I want to tell you right now. I stick my dick in your ear. I put my balls on your forehead. Hey, how about a donkey punch? What the fuck you looking at? The fuck you looking at? Are you talking to me? I know you're not You cocksucker. Come here, I'll beat the fuck out of you. Come here! You sit on that fucking thing and look down at me. Who the fuck do you think you are, huh? Don't look down at me. You Fuck, you pussy fuck. You died on a fucking cross, that's it? Took the easy way out, you motherfucker. And now everyone praises you for what? For what, huh? I gotta do 12 years, cocksucker! No one's gonna remember me! They built statues and have processions for you. You didn't even fucking have it that bad, motherfucker. Try growing up on the streets, motherfucker, alone with no mother, no father. You even fucking listening to me? Huh? You don't thought you are you listening to me? Why don't you ever fucking listen? Why don't you ever fucking listen? Huh? 
like, you don't like me? You don't, what, what did I do? What, you don't like me? Fucking never heard anyone who didn't have it coming. Because that kid that old deed? Not my fucking fault! It's not! Stop fucking making me feel this way! It's not my fucking fault! Why didn't you do something about it if you give a fuck, huh? Huh? Sit on that fucking thing and look at me, you cocksucker! You don't give a fuck! Come here, I'll show you what it's like to suffer. I'll kill you! You hear me? Tommy! Tommy, snap the fuck out of it, man! It's me! It's John! Tommy! John. John. You're right, man. You're right. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, John. I don't want to go away, Ja. I know, Tommy. I don't want you to go away either, but there's nothing we can do about it now. You've been away for a long fucking time, man. I know, Tommy. Twelve years, John. Fucking miss everything. When I get out, you guys are gonna be married, fucking kids. The fuck am I gonna do? Mm. You'll still be young, you have your whole fucking life out of you. You, know, you and the guys are the only family I got, right? I know, man. You know I love you more than I can love a brother, right? Bullet for me. You gotta forget that shit. It's not about that. Would have fucking died for you that day. Listen, man, that shit's got you all fucked up. You should just get some sleep. Why'd you read on me, John? You heard me. What are you talking about? Damn, that shit's got you all fucked up. Let's go get some sleep. No, I'm fine, Johnny. Just want to hear you say it. Just tell me why. Are you out of your fucking mind? You took rides with me to Mississippi, you fucking lying fuck. How come you never got pinched? You saw his name was on the document that ratted you out. It's your fucking guy from Syracuse. You're losing your fucking mind. Come on. Grow some balls. Come on, Johnny. Be a man. I want to hear you say it. I won't hurt you, I promise. You think I'm scared of you? Not scared of me, Johnny? What are you gonna do, tough guy? Just sit down, you're acting fucking crazy! I told you to sleep that shit off. That's what I fucking thought. Nothing but a fucking rat. You motherfucker! You gonna shut the fuck up? You gonna <laughs> shut the fuck up? Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Real sick fuck, you know that, Tommy? You know that? 
I love you, man. Why the fuck you gotta do this shit? Cause you're a fucking red bastard. That's why. You fucking cunt. Now get the fuck out of my house. I don't want to hear anything. You okay? <laughs> I said, are you okay? Crazy night tonight. Oh, that's real fucking nice. Just let me talk. Tonight I've realized a lot of things that haven't, haven't been that clear to me. Just stop it, Jimmy. This is what happens every time you go out. I can't take it anymore. You're making me go crazy. Just fucking listen. I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. All I care about is you. I want to get the fuck out of this town. I never want to come back. I mean, it's fucked up around here. And it's fucking with me. I'm not giving in to you, not this time. Baby. Look at me. I have been giving and giving and giving to you for seven years, Jimmy. I've given you my everything. I'm empty. There's nothing left for me to get. Baby, listen, you've been saying for years that you want to get married. Marry me. Are you proposing? Yes. You know, you're really the crazy one here. You've been pestering me for years that you want to get married, and now I'm fucking sitting here trying to ask you to marry me. Please, I beg you, marry me. Please. Please, Nikki. Jimmy, get some sleep, okay? I'm going to my mother's. When you wake up in the morning, if you still want to marry me, go buy a ring and do it the right way. Nikki, you want me to propose tomorrow? You want me to propose tomorrow? Yeah. With the ring. Nikki, please don't leave. Nikki! <coughs> These old fucking greaseballs are crazy. What do you mean they're fucking crazy? I walk into place, they're sitting in the fucking dark, looking at me like they're gonna whack me. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying to think in my head if I did something. Maybe I fucked one of their daughters. <laughs> mm. Well, did you? 
They could be sitting here talking to you if I did. What the fuck? What'd they want? Tell me to push this H for them. H? Like fucking heroin? Yeah, like fucking heroin. Dude, who the fuck's gonna buy that shit? You'd be surprised. He said this shit's mixed. It gives you three times the high of regular range. I'll get rid of it. You out? You fucking stupid. Oh, what the fuck? I dug my own grave. I'm a man. I'll do the time. Only thing that hurts is seeing how bad it hurts the people who love you. I know what you're going to say. I didn't say anything. That's enough. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Try to push them out our minds, but they're a part of us. Most get high, some lay low. Mike Mayer, we love you, homie, yeah, yo. Pumping through our veins, Bulger Park is our terrain. Every day we play the game, this town is driving me insane. When I do try and get out, I'm cold back. Who am I kidding? I love this shit, scram, I'm trying to figure out why I'm here, Lordy. 